Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news, is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Rehash, the best show on freedom. So don't forget to like their video and subscribe if you're new to freedom. And see you guys later. Thank you so much to the average PR who provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same and be awesome, link in the description to where you can provide an intro and receive a meaningful spotlight at the end of any of our episodes. Just a quick note, we are sitting at few hundred of these so we are working through them i know there are a lot of people who are waiting for theirs we'll it, get it'll, to it. it'll come and hopefully you've followed the previous instructions and provided something meaningful and, and interesting and right. and not like cgi and, and whatnot <laughs> right. um so yeah um then we have a couple of newsy type whatever type things that we want to discuss with you the freedom Pen. Go first. Uh, yeah, actually, I will go first. Thank right. you. Today, I wanted to talk about the Humble Jumbo Bundle, which is a great source of low-cost games if you're d doing it for a YouTube channel or just in general. And then I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about how cars are now being wirelessly hacked. Word. Yeah. And then I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about climate change. Oh. So we should probably get into these news stories. So get down! Oh. So it shouldn't be news to any YouTuber who's been doing this for a while. The Indie Humble Bundle, or in this case, the Humble Jumbo Bundle. That's a mouthful. It is. Um, is a great source of low cost games. And it's for a good cause. It's actually for charity. And you can decide how much goes to the game developers, how much goes to charity. When you purchase these titles, uh, you're able to, you know, say how much goes not only just to the developers and charity, you can actually pick which developers get how much really? and, and whatnot. Um, and it's something that I've been supporting for a very long time. In fact, it was the main source, well, not the main source, it was a good source of games that I played on my gaming channel mm -hmm. when I got sick of Minecraft. Because, right. you know, what, let's, let's face it, it happens, right? Yeah, I'm to um, I wanted to bring this to the attention of the Freedom Family because, like I said, it is for a good cause. It is a great source of, you know, cheap games. Right now, like, for a donation of as little as a dollar, you can get three games. If you pay a little bit more, you get more games. If you pay a little bit more than that, you get more. So check it out in the description down below, and um, go do some good deeds. And well, what would happen if you like donated like a hundred thousand dollars? I wonder what would happen. I think that the, the the charity people would come and kiss you or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, actually, that's not unheard of. Uh, really? Notch a few years ago um, donated quite a bit of money to um, the Indie Humble. Really? Yeah. Oh, I want to read about that after this. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about your thing. All right. So recently, you know, cars are getting more realistic, more futuristic. They're already realistic. The, I was going to say, what kind of virtual car are you driving? The, the ones that you guys can't see. Anyway, they're, they're getting more futuristic. You mean that they're connected wirelessly all of the time when they're on, so they're always subject to hacks. Uh, what? Yeah. No, no, so, wait, wait a minute. I don't want to deal with hacked cars. That is not something I'm ready it's to like deal with. like watchdogs in real life. So, Can you uh, hack cars into watchdogs? Yeah. What? Yeah. So now over half a million vehicles are at risk of being hacked wirelessly through a simple mobile app. They can. They have the ability to disable the brakes. They have the ability to actually monitor. Uh, they have the ability to, you know, speed and slow down the vehicle, turn it off. They they can actually control the steering. That is all insane. That stuff. Yeah. All with a click of a button. I, I I don't really want to live in a world where that's a thing. Like I'm I, I I have come to grips with the fact that I have to have like antivirus and and stuff on my PC and on my phone, but on my car. Exactly. Yeah. Ah. So for the most part, they've outreached to Chrysler and all of the manufacturers of these vehicles that are potentially at risk, and they're working with these companies, but are they actually working back? Are they just one-sided? We really don't now, know a lot. Now, this worries me because Chrysler has their offering, which I forget what the name of it is. Mm. Do, do you know off the top of that? I don't. Anyway, they have their offering, and then Ford has their offering called Sync, and then we have OnStar from GM. Mm -hmm. This is a really, like, <clears throat> if, if we get into a world where it's, you know, a real potential risk where this kind of thing just happens, yeah, that's very scary. It, it makes me want to just drive a hoopty. Or just a bicycle. Just pedal everywhere. But I'd have to have a playing card in the spokes to make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. And then I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about the governor. Here we go. Arnold Schwarzenegger recently made a, <clears throat> Arnold Schwarzenegger recently made a public statement about climate change. Now this is actually big news because he's uh, he's a staunch Republican. Yeah. 
and he um, he's not really uh, his party doesn't usually speak out about climate change uh, mainly depending on who you ask yeah um, mainly because it's inconvenient for businesses okay right. doing things to, to help keep climate change from progressing and things like that um, it's expensive for, for businesses and you know the Republican Party is you know they, they look out for you know um, businesses over people sometimes that's some what some people would say anyways so he went on record as saying I believe the science is in the debate is over and the time for action is now I have starred in a lot of science fiction movies and let me tell you something climate change is not science fiction the battle is real, and it is impacting us right now. Or at least I assume that's what he sounded yeah. like. That's how I read it in my head. Me too. All right. Now, uh, so this is, like I said, this is big news, um, especially with him being the you know, ex-governor of California. California has CARB, or the California Air Resource Board, one of the most stringent in the country as far as you know, uh, emissions and climate change mm -hmm. and stuff. So this is this is big. Let us know in the comment section down below. Who is your favorite celebrity with a cause? Tell us who the celebrity is and what the cause is. And if you say Willie Nelson, you don't really have to tell us what the cause is. And now comes one of my favorite segments, the segment where we talk about your comments. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna go first. Yeah, go ahead. All right. First comment comes from Stephen Van, who says 99% of people won't read this, so here it goes. You know what? You're right. Oh. Moving on. Comment number two comes from the Mankey Tube. The crazy the man. Mega, oh, no. The The Mankey Tube. Okay. Hey, hey, all, all, all the best to you. He says, I'd spend it on PC hardware. Now, for those of you that do not know, yesterday, Anthony asked the Freedom Family if you had one million US dollars, what would you spend it on? And this guy said he's going to spend it on a PC. Okay. A million dollar PC. A million dollar. What would a million dollar PC look like? What would that be like? Uh, well, you get like I think it's like a thousand gig of RAM. You get like a hundred gig of video memory. It, it, it's just insane how much you could get. Diamond keys on keyboard. Yeah, server cases for it. Liquid cooling for like every single part. It, it's just ridiculous. Interesting. Uh, okay. Comment number three comes from 2K Returner, who says, "Why can someone be versatile?" Like, do videos more than one game, it would be boring playing just one game. I assume you mean on a YouTube gaming channel? Right. Um, so, when it comes to diversity, the, the jury is really still out, and here's why. It really depends on your personality, it depends on your fan base, and a few other issues. Like, we, we talk about this a lot when we're giving advice to channels, which we're gonna do here in a minute. No! So, Don't leak it. I'm not, no spoilers! So. When we give advice to channels, a lot of times we may not make it clear why we're giving the advice that we are. And the thing is, it, like I said, it depends on your personality. If you have, let's say, built 5,000 subscribers on one particular game, moving past that one game can be difficult. Right. Also, if you're starting small and you're a little bit too scattered, it's going to be hard. YouTube is much like the business world in that respect. You want to find a niche market that you can, for lack of a better word, exploit. Mm -hmm. And then you want to go past that niche market and expand from there. That's what's called a channel strategy. Now there's a lot that goes into a channel strategy, but keep in mind that anything that you do, you need to think about market penetration in it. So um, let's say it's indie games in general. You can build a... a a sizable channel just off of indie games. Look at Total Biscuit. Yeah, there's plenty of I mean, indie game channels. Yeah. Um, no, he's done more than just indie games. But still, um, that's primarily where a lot of his traffic comes. I mean, new game comes out, he covers it, and then he rides the wave up. When you are doing this, when you're being versatile, as you say, just keep in mind that looking for a way to make that versatility work for you is what's yeah, best. Yeah. Now with all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the partner. To the chopper! Oh, let's go! 
So in today's episode of Rehash, we're going to be spotlighting an awesome partner by the name of The Average PR. Now I know before we actually started recording, we had a few pros and cons about the channel already listed up. Now the guy has a lot of potential, but there's a few downfalls. You want to go into the first downfall? Or? No, I'm going to let you go. Okay. So the only concern that I've had thus far with the channel is he uploads relevant content that's surrounding Call of Duty and Call of Duty Black Ops 3. He does consistent news type videos, similar to Rehash, but the only downfall is he does not work on his titles, descriptions, and the thumbnails I'm not a huge fan of. I don't know if you feel differently. Um, I feel that the, for instance, he's got a shout out Sunday series. Yeah. I believe that that could be retooled to maybe include uh, an action moment, a funny joke that happened in that series with maybe shout out Sunday over to the side. So for instance, uh, let's say uh, he's answering a viewer question about, mm -hmm. um, let's say a topic that we continue to talk about on rehash, the legalization of marijuana or something, mm -hmm. you know, um, he could, you know, say, okay, uh, legal weed, yes or no, and then shout out Sunday. Or uh, let's say that, you know, one of the things that he covers is a guy who does like epic guitar riffs <laughs> or something, um, or uh, gun sinks. You know, include that with Shout Out Sunday over to the side because you really want to, you know, drive clicks. Because if you're giving shout outs to someone and you don't have an additional hook, other people may not see it. Like we right. do here on Rehash. One of the main reasons that we do this show, we cover the news to bring in people from outside the network to people who do want to view content and they see your channel yeah. and you want to do the same. That's, that's our hook. And that's a great example. And of course, that applies to other videos as well, but I don't want to go too in length here. Um, uh, but, but aside from that, the only other concern I have is as a call to be content creator, I've grown my channel to almost 11,000 subscribers. Sadly, I don't have enough time as I used to to create daily content, but you gotta think that normally what we're doing has been done tens of thousands of times, either in the past or currently. So something I would suggest doing is working on the descriptions and the titles so you rank well you know, for search optimization. YouTube's algorithm is very weird, and exactly. you can get ranked by simply putting Call of Duty in the description. Or simply using the shout out uh, yeah. as an example, um, placing something in your uh, in your description saying, you know, uh, today we are shouting out, and then give a list of people with with links. Um, also, any other topics or discussions. It doesn't necessarily have to be at length. Right. Just you know, we talked about. Um, you know, call of the new Call of Duty, you know, game. We yeah. talked about uh, this new DLC package. We talked about this, that, and the other thing. That is really what you need to start including because though it may not necessarily help you out with the initial boom from your subscribers, it will help that video have an extra long tail at the end so that your videos continue promoting you down the line. Perfect. Um, also, um, one kind of note I have is, well, two notes I have. Your banner and your profile image do not look like they belong to the same channel. So you're gonna wanna take a look at this, you're gonna want to make sure that, you know, that is, you know, taken care of because if I see you comment down below, I want to go, oh yeah, I remember seeing that guy's banner. Um, it's all about building a consistent... Um, recognition? Yeah, brand recognition. Also, uh, you do have links to your social medias in your descriptions, but it would be nice to see that on your about page because that also shows up at the bottom of your banner. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, anything else? That's pretty much it. Awesome. Now I would say that this is a definite subscribe if you're into Call of Duty, if you're into gun game type things. Yeah. So Freedom Family, go spam him with hashtag rehash. You don't have to subscribe, but if you do, let him know why. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. And I'll be back. See you guys later. Tomorrow. Bye, Freedom Family. The time for action is now. I have starred in... <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You're so, you're so close. <laughs> go on, man. Okay.